Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here. Uh, we're back, back again, back in D-Team. Oh yeah. Uh, we went ahead and spent most of yesterday just like collecting some resources. Look at that, I'm upside down. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, collecting some resources, uh, collecting some sand. Let me just go ahead and get a few more bits of sand here. Uh, top us off at 64 and then that should be good. Uh, God, we got a lot of ice. Um, first things first, uh, we need to figure out a way to get out from under the ice. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I think there's a place up here uh, that we can go ahead and get out at. I'm kind of looking at my map, so it looks like this water's a little bit more blue than anything else. Uh, here we go. Hut. You just get up on land here. Uh, yes, you actually suffocate on land. Uh, it's pretty terrible, actually. Let's go ahead and get into bat form. Bat form! Alright, here we go. And then we can go ahead and try to figure out where our house is. Um, I think it's this way. I'm fairly certain it's this way. Yep, there it is. The brown circle on the map. Oh, right next to that square, which is cool. I guess it uh, it auto-saves my, uh, my, sa my waypoints. Oh, you're coming with me. This isn't a slime. It's an entity creature name, uh, but it acts like a slime. They're just mobs. Sometimes they drop slime balls. Sometimes they don't. Um, it happens. It happens. Okay, uh, so what do we got? We got some raw squid! Yummy! Delicious. Uh, what else do we have? We have tentacles! Uh, how do we use these tentacles? E? How do we use these? E? Tentacle into tentacles? Okay. Can I, can I just eat them? Oh shit, I'm like throwing them. Uh, I know if you throw tentacles, they actually hurt. Uh, what the fuck? Oh. Alright, uh, so first things first, oh man, we got a fuck ton of clay, look at this, that's so awesome, I'm so happy. Alright, first things first, uh, let us, um, <laughs> let's get rid of this thing here. Uh, all you have to do is take a normal crafting table, okay, put it in your crafting slot, whoop, and then you go ahead and get a crafting station. You don't have to add anything to it, it's just a crafting table in your crafting slot, there you go. And the cool thing about this thing is... It's like, let's say I'm trying to make something, and I'm like, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm missing one more component. So you can leave here, go to the chest, and get your shit. And if it's adjacent to a chest, not only does it stay here, but you have access to the chest next to it, including double chests as well. So uh, that's really friggin' awesome. Uh, you can put things back and forth as well. So if I needed bones, for example, I could put them up here. And in fact, I'm going to do that. Uh, might start getting that bone mill going. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, clay, we're going to take sand, and we are going to take gravel, and we have grout, uh, which is absolutely disgusting. But uh, we got grout nonetheless. Uh, do we have any cobblestone? Cobblestone, cobblestone. Yes, we do. We got 49 cobblestone. So we're going to go ahead and make another furnace. Uh, you can never have enough furnaces uh, in, in this place, at least not in the beginning. And uh, we are going to need some sort of incendiary as well. Um, did I have any coal? I got 41, sweet. Um, so, do, do eight. If we ever get to the nether, uh, we can go ahead and make uh, nether furnaces, which are fucking pimp. Uh, it takes, uh, like, normally a stack of 64 takes eight coal. A nether furnace, a stack of 64 only takes four coal. Uh, so it's like half of it, and uh, that's really good. Okay, so now that the grout's going, it's going to go ahead and make these little bricks. Boop, seared bricks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let these things uh, build up here. Uh, we're going to need quite a lot of these, um, actually. So let's go over here to... What is this thing called? Tinker. Uh, here we go. Seared glass. Seared tank. Seared... Okay, here we go. Um... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, obviously we're gonna need to see your bricks. Uh, where's the control thing? Huh. Well, we're definitely gonna need this. And this is uh, all this around a piece of glass, which is great. That's pretty easy. Uh, seared glass, um, uh, glass, and then some of those. That, that's pretty easy as well. Uh, where is the control thing? Uh, let's see. Let's go to seared brick, and we can see everything that we can make with it. Um, how do we use this? There we go. Uh, tool forge. We're gonna need to make all this shit. 
Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> apparently, uh, this is all the things you can make a tool forge out of. Uh, seared brick slabs. Don't really need that. Okay, um, maybe not seared brick. Uh, what about. Uh, how about just the brick? Mm, here we go. How about that? All right, so how do we use this? Ah, here we go. Smeltery controller. That's what we needed. Okay, so it's just like that. Uh, smeltery drain, which is just like that. Okay, so that's it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so we need to go ahead and grab a few of these. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck out the way. And let's go ahead and make ourselves one of these. Uh, we are also going to need um, a bunch of glass as well. I guess we can go ahead and make another thing. Oh, shit. That is not what I wanted to do. Wrong one. Whoopsie. All right. Um... And then we're going to need glass. Did I put all the sand in there? I did. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Got to go get some sand. Oh, look. How convenient. There's sand here. We're going to need quite a bit of sand, actually. Uh, probably 16 bits. Will that do? Maybe? 16 bits. That's fine. Woo! And uh, there we go. We'll let that start cooking. And uh, we need to go ahead and start figuring out the rest of this shit as well. Uh, okay, we can't do anything with that. We are going to need these, so they're, they're a V-shaped. Uh, we're going to need like three of those, I think, or six. We'll, we'll, we'll start with three. So one, two, three of those. Okay, awesome. Uh, what else do we need? Let's look at this. Uh, we're going to need one of these, so it's just six on the side. Uh, we're going to need three of those, so there's one. You guys are like, what the fuck are you making, Noodle? Uh, I'm making science. Science, friends. So one, two, three of those. Three of those. That's great. Uh, so we got that. We got that. We're going to need uh, that tank thing this thing and that's all the way around one piece of glass so let's see if we got any glass done oh perfect perfect um oops wrong one here we go uh we are going to need this around a piece of glass we're gonna need one of these i uh, definitely need one of those and then uh we're going to need more of these thank you thank you as well oh i'll take that thank you and we are going to need, um, well, we don't need these per se, but I do like these. So we're going to get some like that, some like that. Oh, shit. See, perfect. See, we just needed one more glass, and this crafting table keeps it all together for us. And, in fact, other people can look, like, when they, if somebody else were to click on this while I'm building this, they can see how I'm building it. Uh, so that'll be fine. Uh, we'll get those two like that. And then uh, we're just going to need a fuck ton of these bricks. And we're going to use a ton of them like that. Okay, so now we got to kind of figure out a place for this. And I'm thinking this place right here is as good as any. Really, it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and like start digging out the floor. And in fact, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these fucking iron tools. And uh, we can make ourselves some proper tools. There you go. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Wrong one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So uh, we are going to need this like that. How's it coming, guys? Coming good? Going good? Good. Um, three more. That's fine. That's all I really need. Like that. We're going to need... Um, not that. Uh, the smeltery controller and this thing here. So we'll put the controller here. And we'll put this thing here, like that. And then we'll put this thing like this. Bloop, bloop, just like that. That looks fine. 
Um, in fact, some of this wall is going to get knocked out as well. There's another one right there. Another one right there. That's good. I know it's kind of slow going, uh, but that's the way the cookie the cookie crumbles, friends. Slow goings is my name. Uh, okay. And then we will go ahead and get these things out like this. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Oh, man, I didn't make me a goddamn pick. All right, let me use this stupid pick. That was weird. I wonder why it looked, went like that. All right. There we go. Just like that. And then we'll have another one on this side over here. But that's fine for now. Uh, we're going to need these things here. Boop. Boop. Just like so. Awesome. How's it looking? All right. We got a few more. Ugh. I keep clicking that. Give me another three more. Great. Uh, I don't really know how many we need, but I know we need a lot. Um, okay. So there's that. Uh, um, <clears throat> and we are going to go ahead and make another one so that way I can get this thing down. We'll put it, oh shit. <laughs> we'll put it on this side like this. There we go. I'll put the little spick here. Oh shit, wrong one. There we go. Just like that. That looks good. That looks great. Uh, in fact, we could probably uh, bring this down, actually. And we can save ourselves a few bricks. Uh, this is kind of way Strike did his, uh, and I, I kind of like the idea um, where it's more like in the ground kind of thing. You'll see what I mean here in a bit. It really doesn't matter how you construct this thing. You can construct it however you want, uh, which is a great benefit to uh, to you. The only thing that you... This is, oh, by the way, what we're actually making. Uh, it's called a Seared Forge. Uh, it's under Tinkerer's Construct, as you can see up top. It's considered an invalid structure right now because uh, it's not complete. Um, but it is this big. You can make them tall, but they have to be at least this big in general. All right, so let's go ahead and there we go. Four more. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we're going to drop this down. Drop the base. Like that. Uh, we will put this thing over here like so. Let it spick just like that. All right. Oh, look, we're almost done with it. Great. Just need one more brick, and it should be done. Um, basically, the, the main design is that it has to be a 3x3 three three on the bottom in the center right here. And then you got to line the outsides. It doesn't have to be a complete square. You can do three on one side, three over there, three over here, and three over here like this. Uh, it's fine. Um, it, you don't need any more than that, really. Uh, there we go. And then if it's completed correctly, then this thing lights up like this. Now it means that this thing is active and ready to go. Um, so what we can do actually is just start building it up like so. Uh, but absolutely not necessary, uh, needed to build it up, um, but it is uh, it is nice to do it that way um, because it allows you to smelt a lot more materials at uh, any given time. <coughs> you guys will see what I mean once I get this thing uh, up and running. Um, we're going to need to go ahead and smelt some iron. Um, let's do nine iron. I know that's a weird number. Fuck it, let's do 18. That's, that's 16. 7 to 18, there we go. Uh, and then each one of these is 8, 16. Whatever, we can do 16, that's fine. We'll let that go ahead and get smelted down. Um, we need to find ourselves some lava. 
I believe that there's lava around here somewhere. I remember seeing lava somewhere. Um, but that's why we need to go ahead and get the uh, the iron here. So I got that, I got that. Got another one for me? Great. All right, we could at least go get one bucket of lava. Uh, I believe it's over here somewhere by these mountains. I remember flying by it a few times. Yep, there it is. I see it. Which is great. We don't have to go very far. Me and Strike were having to, like, man, us trying to find lava was a fucking pain in the ass. Super pain. Um, but here we go. Don't worry about that wicker, man. Uh, it's, it's just pure evil. No big deal. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that likes to put dirt or anything there uh, to symbolize that I have taken the lava out of there. It keeps, stops from flowing, and I know exactly how much lava we have left. So, uh, so there we go. All right, so hopefully uh, when we get back, we'll go ahead and have some more iron. Uh, some more iron. Now, uh, I did mention earlier that, that uh, Attack of the B-Team doesn't have, um, like, build craft on it. So you're like, man, that sucks without a pulverizer and all that. And you would think so, but uh, this machine here is actually a pulverizer, if you can believe it or not. What we do is we put our lava in this tank, just like so. It even tells you how much lava is in there, 850 out of 4,000. Uh, and that's because it's currently working uh, to fill up this fuel in here. Okay, and this will tell you how much fuel it is until it's maxed out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in uh, some iron. Uh, here we go. So in here, we just put in iron like this. Okay, and it shows up in there like so. Boop. And uh, it will... Uh, melt it eventually see it's it's melting it down not only is it converting it like uh like a pulverizer meaning that if you put in one iron ore it will actually create two ingots okay but it's also melting it down so that way it's it's more uh fluid and then you can you'll see what i mean because um in the future in the future we are going to uh be using a lot of like uh, different materials um that require molds and casts and stuff like that and requires liquid metal this creates liquid metal in fact it can create liquid diamonds uh, if i jump into it it creates blood if i throw a horse in there it'll make glue um you know horse glue um so it's it's really just an all-around amazing thing and it is in my opinion damn right just ridiculous to do attack of the b team and not make one of those off the bat that should be your first priority because it automatically doubles any and all ore that you dig up two three four there we go yeah it doubles all of your ore immediately so i don't know why you wouldn't just jump on the bandwagon and make one really quick um like i said it it does take uh sand uh, gravel and clay in order to make the gout in order for you to cook it to make the bricks and you need four bricks to make the thing uh, you can go ahead and just look up the recipes on there or just rewind and uh, see what the recipes were um, these glass tanks here these glass things here these can actually hold um, lava in them but it doesn't actually contribute to this it just acts as a holding cell and it doesn't move itself over if that makes sense um but it does act as a holding tank and what i like using them for is that you can actually see what liquids you have in there um so yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead i have an extra bucket so i'll throw the bucket in there that's fine um there we go So there it goes. So now it creates a level of molten iron. As you can see, there's six ingots in there, which is great. Um, I'm going to need to make uh, some more uh, some stuff really quick, actually, um, which will, in fact, need me to uh, make more of these fucking seared bricks. We're going to need a ton of these things, by the way. Uh, so it looks like we just need kind of sand. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the sand here. It's kind of pointless here. Uh, I normally don't like getting sand so close to a base, but um, it's usually for aesthetic reasons. Um, we're in the middle of a fucking tundra. It's all going to get snowed over anyway. It's not even going to matter. Oh, time's up. Uh, yeah, it's not even going to matter. So no big dealio. Uh, we'll just go ahead and fill this in later if we need to. 
That's fine. And then we have lots of sand uh, resources available to us. Woo! Okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and mix these things all together. I appreciate you guys coming to join me. Uh, seeing me once again in Minecraft. Yay, Minecraft. Um, I missed being in Minecraft. Uh, I love it. I love it to death. Um, I am going to continue playing Alan Wake, which is great. Uh, I love Alan Wake. Alan Wake is the bee's knees, if you will. Do I have any? No. I do have one seared brick, which is great. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Train of thoughts. Uh, let me get some fucking apple juice, too. We'll go ahead and make... Uh, once we start getting into the farming thing, you know, once we get this thing up and running and working uh, as, as, as easily as we can, um, let me just throw some of that in there. Uh, do I need any tin, silver, gold? I don't really need any of this stuff just yet, so uh, that'll be fine. And then uh, Sear Tank has a lot. Uh, the Seared Window has a thousand in there as well. And as you can see, there's molten metal in there. Uh, don't jump in there because it'll like, yeah, it'll melt you down. Melts down. All right, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys are learning a little bit uh, because I always like teaching you guys stuff. Uh, casting table, yes. I, I want to see if I can try to make one of these really quick so I can show you what it does. All right, so a casting table, what it does is it creates uh, casts. Um, shit, I need aluminum something. In fact, I should have had a book as soon as this was done. Hello? Did I not get a book? I don't get a book. I don't get a book. Fuck you. Uh, aluminum. No, uh... Is it copper? Copper alloy? Is this it? Molten copper. Um, let me see, plate. That's gold. Copper plate, where is it? Bronze. Wood, stone, paper, steel, aluminum, bronze, copper, ardite, flint. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Jesus Christ. A uh, large plate. Blank cast. Uh, what's the fucking metal? You gotta be kidding me. Ardite, bronze. Is it bronze? Yeah, I think it's bronze. Bronze. Do we have enough for bronze? How do we do this? Bronze. You're not, you're not telling me anything. Molten bronze, molten copper, molten tin. Okay, so it looks like we need four to one uh, copper and tin, which is fine. So uh, let me see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. All right. I'll go ahead and have these babies cooking uh, in here while we go ahead and sign off. Um, so thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for coming in. And uh, oh, shit. Fuck, I need to, I need to fix this immediately. <laughs> what this is going to do is this is going to smelt it down and then turn it, hopefully, into uh, aluminum bronze. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to make a cast. And then from the cast, we can go ahead and pour out ingots. And uh, we're going to need to make a ton of this kind of alloy stuff uh, as well. Uh, we're going to go back and we're going to make some more seared bricks. We're going to hopefully finish off the, uh, the seared oven uh, at least to a, a point where it can function fairly reasonable. Maybe add one or two more layers. Um, when we come back and then after that we're going to start working on the farms um, we're going to need to dig up a ton a ton of stone uh, because I want to create biospheres uh, suspended biospheres in the air uh, maybe like on a platform or something I got a, I got a cool plan uh, but I just don't know how long it'll take us to do it uh, but you know we have we have until forever so uh, like I said thank you for joining me and I'll catch you all next time peace out everybody.